youngins need a saving on my rocket steed I race across the stars Cause I'm sworn by the birds of my astrospheres to right the outlaw wrongs on Mars Everybody! Yes, he writes the outlaw wrongs on Mars oh, The hyper cattle coming and the march of savage drumming are as beautiful as comet bugs and jars I'm from Earth. So what? <laughs> yes, he writes the outlaw wrongs on Mars. On the plains, the red plain, I am pulled along. And I do it with a pair of robot fists. How? How? Evil extermination I have faced. But my robot rose, they hardly ever. Hardly ever miss. And I reckon I'll be right in the name of truth and justice for as long as I can count the shooting stars. Cause I've sworn by the birds of my astrospheres to write the outlaw wrongs on Mars. Yes, he writes the outlaw wrongs on Mars. Kevin Jackson after the Thrilling Adventure Hour show on April 1st. How did that happen? A lot of people have been asking me that over the last few days, and there's actually kind of an interesting story with some serendipity and little pieces falling into place, ins and outs, and what have you. Quick glossary of terms, depending on what angle you're coming at this from, from what angle you are coming at this video. Yes. What is Thrilling Adventure Hour? It's a live stage show come podcast in the style of old time radio. It's been performed for the last 10 years in Los Angeles. Who am I? I'm Sarah Shea. I'm a musician in Seattle. I play washboard in a folk punk band called the Mongrel Jews, and I also play ukulele and sing some nerdy solo songs sometimes. I like going busking, which is street performing for you rubes. And occasionally I like to slip in a little nerdy song when I'm playing for the muggles at my local farmer's markets. I was doing exactly that about six months ago when I saw Molly Lewis, another local musician who happens to know some of the Work Juice players. She came by, I sang the Sparks of Anna theme, she made a little video, posted it on Twitter, and then it got retweeted and pinged around enough that both Ben Acker and Ben Becker, the creators of the show, as well as Mark Evan Jackson, who plays the titular role in Sparks Nevada, Marshall on Mars, their space western, had all seen it. Mark responded to the video and said, I love this, may we please do a duet someday. I was of course entirely delighted by this, but I didn't think it would really happen. Especially when, later that month, they announced that their monthly live shows would be ending in April. I'm a struggling musician, so the chances were slim that I'd be able to afford a flight to LA, even if I could get one of the fast selling out tickets to their final shows. But, due to the incredible generosity of one of my local friends who's also a fellow adventure coteer, and the fact that they added an extra show on April 1st, I was able to go. My friend Thomas and I flew down the night before, and I brought my ukulele, because I always bring my ukulele. But the night of the show when we were getting ready, I decided I wasn't going to bring it. It just felt weird carrying this case around, presumptuously assuming that Mark and Jackson would want to sing with me. Confidence issues. Luckily, Thomas was able to convince me to bring it along and at least leave it in the car. We went to the show, and it was amazing. I was a little disappointed at first that I wouldn't get to see all my favorite actors and characters doing the voices and the catchphrases, but the show we got was so awesome and mad and went off the rails so quickly and was so unique, I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. After the show, I got in the very long line for the bathroom and ended up chatting with a nice young lady in front of me. At some point in the conversation, I gave her my card and she said, you know, your name sounds familiar, but I know you from something. I'm a musician, I play ukulele, I put songs on YouTube. And she said, oh, did you do the Sparks Nevada theme? Did you bring your uke? Are you going to play with Mark? I'm not going to lie. I very rarely get recognized as a musician here in Seattle. I was not expecting to get recognized in Hollywood. But Danny convinced me to go get my ukulele and try and make it happen. And for that, I owe you one. By this point, all the Work Juice players and the guests had come out to sign autographs and take pictures. And as I was chatting with Hal and Paul and meeting Mark Conville and John Hodgman, I came up with a plan. All I had to do was ask Mark to sign my ukulele, during which conversation I could mention that I'm a busker and I play his song and maybe he would recognize me. 
very sneaky. But as I moved towards him, I saw Ben Acker, who took one look at me and said, Oh, you're the busker! You have to sing with Mark! As we were waiting for Mark to finish up with some photos and autographs, I chatted with Acker, who is super sweet and really chill and nice, and I got to meet Hank Green, which was an extra bonus. Now, around this point in the story, things do start to get a little hazy. Uh, Mark came over, Ben explained who I was, and since Mark hadn't gotten to sing his theme song during the show, since Sparks was played by Lauren Lapkus, he needed very little provocation to sing it now. I started tuning my ukulele, he ran off to the green room to get his robot fist, which was adorable. A group of people surrounded us with cameras, and he came back, and then all of a sudden we were singing the song? As you just saw, it was amazing. People sang along, and Hal Loveland was harmonizing, and people did Jim Janine, John Hodgman Instagrammed it, Everything was beautiful and nothing hurt. I did mess up a few chords, but I think that's understandable considering that Mark Evan Jackson was crooning in my ear. After that, it's definitely all a blur. I don't actually remember saying thank you or goodbye to Mark Evan Jackson. Uh, somebody I'd been talking to earlier asked me to do the Jupiter Janine's theme song, which I completely <laughs> screwed up because I was still high on Mark Evan Jackson fumes. Uh, I will be doing a video of that later to make up for it. Basically, it was a super amazing experience, and I'm so grateful to everyone who played their part in it coming together. Danny and Thomas and Molly for getting the ball rolling, and of course Acker and Mark, and all the work these players and the guests for putting on such an amazing show and basically making my year. Fish on fish crime is the worst kind of crime.